part two. Part because we stopped in the middle of one. I know, but the first we we stopped in the first one. Yeah, in which yeah. a plus a. Yeah. Well, whatever the a plus a or a equals a, whatever it is, what we are identifying is we do it by making a difference. Uh huh. Right. Even though we're saying that a is equal a. We know that because we're making a difference, and that difference is A is not equal to something else or is different yeah, than okay. something else. So, the second part is referred to the entity A, not the sign, not the relational sign. Yeah? And um, so, when we say A is identity is identical to itself, is possible for the, because of the following. It's possible because you can differentiate from B, from C, from E, from F, and so on. From all those structures that you know, you can separate them, you can differentiate it. And that from the very beginning, they introduce difference. You say, for example, A, and A is identical to itself, means that it's not identical to B, C, or D, right? then you differentiate it very well in such a way, in the same way that we had established the differences between the relationship of equality with all the, uh, with all the re possible relations of A, with all the entities that are not A. We have differentiated, it, we have, and we are left with only A. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So again, we did the whole thing through a process of differentiation. And the third one, A, as the first term of the relationship, yeah, notice that here there is two A's, A's and A's. And in the middle, there is an equal sign, right? Then we, saw, we say A are, is equal to A, are the same, but we don't, we don't care. They are definitely two A's. So, as a first term of the relationship appears identi identical to itself, only if we think about it as a moment of thinking, and as far as we can differentiate from another moment. Yeah. According to this, even the relationship of identity is a different between terms for the process of thinking. Hmm. I say that the ashtray, this is going to be the ashtray, hmm, is identical to itself only if I make an abstraction with the time lapse. Mm -hmm. yeah? Because if I am, if I find myself with this ashtray, that, and I take a picture of it on the today, 28th of August. Mm, 28th of August. Yes. If I find myself with the same ashtray in 30 years, I am not going to see the same. Um, I cannot say if I take a picture that is exactly the same ashtray. Yeah? Or I will say it's the same ashtray but is changed perfectly. I will say it's the same ashtray that has been deteriorated a little. Yes, and that's the way with everything. Apparently, the identity will work only at the moment in you make the abstraction. Yeah? For the thinking process, because as soon as I leave that thinking process, when time passes, then in no way that identity will be equal to A again. Mm -hmm. Make sense yeah. so far? Yeah. So the famous discussion between those Greeks that that nothing goes through the nothing bathed in the same river. Yeah. Heraclitus. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he doesn't say Greeks. He says those Greeks. 
<laughs> I don't know how to translate it. That the identity does not exist, that everything is transformation. Um, for on one side, that that everything is identical, and on the other side, that is identical to itself, carries us to situations that can be extremely funny in, if we think about time. There were some people who defend this posture of the identity, that in order to demonstrate that things were identical to themselves, there was su such a, a person named Zenon the, uh, of Ilias, for example, yeah, that um, he said, he presented this, this difficulty and say, one thing is an identity to itself and cannot stop being identical, like it's, a, it's like in an arrow. If I, if I launch an arrow and this arrow is in a given moment, where is that arrow? Or it is where is it's not. Mm -hmm. yeah. And to be, to be where it is not, it cannot be. So if it is where it is, then it doesn't move. So that's a, the paradox. That's one of those. Yeah. Yeah. Thing. That's from the Greeks too, right? Mm -hmm. Zeno, uh, if Zeno. everything changes, right. you cannot establish anything. That's what I get. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the synthesis established in the fashion of A equal A appears from the difference the, of other moments in, of the thinking process. And as a new ambit that established the differences that the thinking process imposed. The synthesis assumed the difference of the relationship and they structure them in a way that, oof, I don't know how to say this, ponderativamente, I have no idea. There is a word that I cannot, that you have to help me with the English, ponderar, you have heard of that. You know what? To Ponder. Pondering. If yeah. I say that this is more important than another, if I say that this little yeah. thing or is Or you reflect different. on that. Right. Reflect. Yeah. And it's more important the first one that is read, because that one is the one that is really going to make the recording, and the other one is really to erase, etc., etc. If I'm doing all this type of pondering, well, mm -hmm. I am necessarily proceeding with differences again and separating oh mm -hmm. this 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 that and this they mm -hmm. have they're doing different things right so the synthesis assume all the differences of all the relationship structure structuring them in a pondering way mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay okay therefore we differentiate all the differences that do not coincide with the new ambit that are included and that is how I go constructing the thinking process with this type of process. I build this thinking method with this type of process. Uh -huh. Okay. It's the difference between the moments of the thinking that allows me to establish equalities in a new moment of thinking. If there were no differences between the moments of the thinking, I will never be able to say, for example, that A is equal A. I will only be able to say A. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> I will not be able to establish any relationship of equality because there was no sequence in, in the thinking. And even though it is an abstraction, A, A is an abstraction, and even though I can say A equal to itself, it's possible that I can only, that I can establish a relation between that A with an other A, and they we can, I can say they're identical, and it's the same that it is translated in two times of the process of thinking. 
and I can say all of that because there is a sequence in the thinking process. And that sequence in the thinking process is given for the moments of the thinking process. If it, if it was only one moment, like a continuum yeah, of the thinking process without moments, yeah, they, without differences among themselves, there was no possibility not even to establish equalities in such a way that, as paradoxical as it sounds, equality appears from differences. <laughs> and it cannot, you cannot establish concepts of equality if you do not work with differences of moments of the thinking. And that can, uh, does not admit any discussion. It's not discutible. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's not. Uh -huh. Because even, you know, carrying it to, to the, the, the term equality to whatever, you know, the social environment, to ask for equality means that there is no equality. To search for equality, you start already from the premise that you don't have it. Uh -huh. So, I mean, it's really, really well, interesting. Well, but isn't he saying, what I thought he was saying is to grasp the whole idea of equality through thinking, you have to pause the movie. And, and establish the difference. And, and then, because you're not moving in real time, but you're working with an abstraction, mm -hmm. you have to work with differences. Mm -hmm. Not not necessarily that two things are different, but the whole process of thinking relies on you making differences between things. Yes. Yeah, that's what I understand yeah. too. That even in the when you want to conceptually saying A is equal to A, you establish that because you know how to separate, how to yes. differentiate. You make a difference between right the real A and the symbolic A, or that you've just or paused. whatever you know, and even the, the all the A's that are outside of that equation, they're outside. Therefore, you made a difference. I don't know what happened. Yeah. Oh. All right. So. But you can't do that in real time. No. What you're saying. No, in real time. So how are the uh, AI is going to do it? How what? The artificial intelligences. How are they going to make the difference? They are not. They're going to do what they can <laughs> <laughs> until something happens. You know. I mean, I, that's my guess. It's like the computer. You know, it's still still a on and off switch. Mm -hmm. At a, at a an enormous speed, so it gives you the uh, the illusion of time, right? And it happens in instantly, but it's not. Long process of on, off, on, off, on, off. Each time more accelerated, so you have a lot of structures of on and off. You know, yeah, put you, together. Yeah. And then appears like a sequence, mm -hmm. like a song, you know, because you know if you play the the, the song very quickly, yeah, then it makes it a song. If you but if you play it really really slow, there's no song. There's yeah, or even notes. if you play, yeah, or then, play it with the wrong timing, then, you can't recognize it. Mm, something like that. Huh? Uh -huh. Well, he's also saying that there's no. He was also saying that the, the idea of equivalence demands a time a difference in time yes there are two moments or yeah. more of, of the right. thinking process mm. <laughs> <laughs>